Hello and welcome to Board Game Plus, our weekly show in which we play digital editions of board games. I'm your host, Tom Fowle, and today on the program, we are trying out Gloomhaven, uh, the digital version of the ever-popular board game. Hopefully, uh, today we'll be trying out uh, the DLC of uh, Jaws of the Lion today, so uh, we'll be getting into that here momentarily. Also, if you're new here and want more board game content, please hit that subscribe button. But hey, let's uh, let's get right into it. All right, first of all, we need to enter a guild name. What would be uh, the Booty Bandits? I'm an adult. <laughs> let's uh, let's give that a whirl. We're 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 gonna do it on easy, so monsters, traps, and gold will be one level lower. We'll do the updated enhancements. Cool. Yeah, there we go. Just Lion DLC enabled. Perfect. Uh, DLC cannot be enabled during, but can be enabled later at the load. Okay, so we, we've got that original. Um, I think we're just going to leave this on all of the... Yeah, okay. Yeah, summons, movements. Yeah, let's, let's just go recommended. Give this a whirl. I have played some Gloomhaven in the past. I'm a little... I shouldn't say a little. I'm very novice to it. So this, um, if you're trying to learn how to play Gloomhaven a little bit better, I'm, uh, I'm not your expert. Welcome to the harsh lands of Gloomhaven. Oh, thank you. You think you have what it takes to become a mercenary out there on the edge of the world? Not really, but we'll try. You're paid to venture into the darkest forests of the region and to step into ancient crypts with the unmistakable stench of death and rotting flesh. No, that's just me. I'm sorry. Lovely places to earn a name for yourself. Be ready to face cutthroats, undead, fearsome tribes, and dreadful demons from other realms. So, Twitter. You didn't find yourself as a mercenary without knowing how to crack a few skulls, did you? Not the slightest. Wow, that was a little loud. Before going into the harrowing wilderness surrounding Gloomhaven, you'll need at least two mercenaries in your party, brave or greedy enough to seek out adventures in exchange for gold. Party panel. Here you'll see basic information on the mercenaries in your party. Click the first character slot to open the roster panel. Uh, okay, we'll just add a new. Choose your starting character classes. Each one has unique abilities. Uh, new cards, cool. So, Void Warden. Good choice. Now I remember looks are and everything. Mark's ability cards. Uh, want to find their actions battle? You can click starting ability cards. Okay. Um. Sure we can. So your crowd control, range damage. Ooh, okay, melee damage. Lower health though. Uh, we've got red guard, tank. So let's give. I don't want range damage. Yeah, let's go hatchet. While any normal Inox may be valued in Gloomhaven for their brute strength and endurance with manual labor, if you want to be a successful mercenary in the city, sometimes a little more finesse is required. Hatchets have fully embraced life in the city, outfitting themselves in the latest fashion. It is all a bit of a front, though, as their true passion lies in their arsenal. No one is a better marksman with throwing axe. If anybody wants to challenge their claim, they had better be prepared for a duel. To the death. Um... Great range damage, reasonable array of varied secondary abilities, has a couple of favorite axes. Should try and do, keep out of the front line now. Yeah, eight health. Needs to go pick his axes up after use. Hasn't been able to remove their hats since childhood. <laughs> oh no. Um so for the booty bandits. Um Rear Admiral. I don't even know if I'm spe spelling that. Rear rear. Uh, uh, rear, Rearington Buttes. Rearington Buttes. I'm an adult. Uh, personal quest. Mercenary sole reason for adventuring. Once it's complete, they're going to retire. Beware. When they retire, they'll no longer be a playable character. Okay. 
So kill eight forced imps, then unlock the scenario. Forgotten Grove Hall to conclusion. Own four enhancements. Requires access to the enchant. Hmm. That'll unlock, that'll unlock. Um, let's go the eight four stems and then follow that path. At first it was just a cough, one of your neighbors keeping you up at night, but then it spread and got worse. Blood boils and death. The elder says a cure can be found deep inside the dagger forest. The four sims may know the way. If you can gather enough of their essence, you may be able to find the way yourself. All right, I'll give that a whirl. Virrington Buttes. Uh, that's one Merc sorted. Yep, we need a second. Quick, quick second, new Merc. Um, <sighs> part of me kind of wants a tank. Part of me also wants melee damage just to hit stuff. Small deck size, limited healing options. Ugh. Oh, punch, punch or be punched. Rape melee attacks plus some range, combination of shield direct. Outside of damage, doesn't have many options, may struggle against single larger enemies, really. I mean, really likes the color red. I mean, clearly. Um, their clips aren't the most practical everyday attire. Great at affecting the combat area. Many direct damage ability to smash through sh Oh, see? Mmm. Uh, only 12 cards, 8 health, 10 health, 13 cards. Oh, that eight health is scary. Um, yeah, let's go demolitionist. We'll give it a shot. Okay, now to go with the booty bandits. Um, Hind, Hindrick Bottom, Hindrick Bottom. <laughs> All right, personal quest: a vengeance. Complete four different base game scenarios. Yeah, it seems like that happened pretty quick or earn 15 perk points from completed battle goals. Okay, I'll try that. Heindrick Bottom is joining the party. <laughs> All right, time to do some adventuring. Uh, click the center of the screen, close the party, and then hand back to the world map. Okay. Before heading out on your first quest, you should gear up. After all, it's your first time out in the open. You'll notice each mercenary has a modest stash of gold. It's encouraged to take that money over to the merchant shop, spend it on anything that might just keep you from dying. All right. Uh, remember, each mercenary has his or her own stash of gold and a personal inventory. So make sure you click on the right mercenary. Okay. Um, I feel like health is going to be a little bit more of our issue. We've got 30 starting gold. So let's go ahead and buy... And then you are arranged. When attack, consider any times two. Oh, that's not bad. When attack, consider any times two attack modifier card the enemy draws to be a. Yeah, I think the defense will be good. Um, we'll go ahead and equip that iron helm, minor healing potion. We still have ten gold left. Mm, I think we'll hold that in case we run into. Anything that's going to require. But I think for both sides, we're going to do... I, li I like that iron helmet. And then, yeah, minor healing potion. So we'll give that a whirl. We have those equipped. Back to the world map. Gloomhaven isn't known for its well-mannered folk and good Samaritans, but there's a lot to gain from its city streets. You can choose to partake in city encounters by clicking this button below. It's encouraged that you do this whenever you're in the city. They often give good rewards. If you ever find a quest that looks too hard or one you've repeatedly failed to complete, the Temple of the Great Oak can grant you its blessing for a fair price, of course. You can choose to access the temple using this button below. Okay. First quest location is marked just north of Gloomhaven. Uh, you'll see it's flagged with an icon as you progress more quest locations will appear. Okay, that makes sense. Click on the black barrow or the entry to select. You can embark upon a quest with up to four mercenaries, but the more mercs you bring, the more dangerous. Makes sense. It's just it's just a difficulty modifier. All right, um, let's do a city encounter. It's blinking. On a trip to the new market, you see a curious sea chart prominently displayed in a Valrith merchant stall. 
I see this interests you, he says while holding it up, taking great care not to damage it. I've been told this map will lead you to a location of untold riches. Wondrous beyond anything you have seen before. The Valrath gestures grandly with his free hand and his smile grows wide. How can you say no to this? Just make me an offer. The map does look valuable. You could decide to bargain for it or refuse to deal. Eh, let's bargain. Oof. Cost 20 gold, 10 each. Ugh. Oof. And new quest location, a sunken vessel. Might be good, might not. Um. So what we have, city quest. Investigate a missing blacksmith or it might be a good time to go through the mercenary's ability inventory and eh, they'll be fine <laughs> I assume that's probably a bad idea uh local blacksmith wife wants information on where he could be kill all enemies in the room okay yeah we'll give that a whirl uh roadside ambush it's in town rewards are unclaimed i don't know what the reward is but let's give it a whirl shall we did he encounter really i thought it was in town there's a saying mess with the sleeping lying and you'll get stabbed today one of the today's one of those days where you earn that drink discount you knock on the door of zane an orchid who switched from providing assurances to providing excuses he opens up and you let him know it's time to settle his tab Oh, come on. He sent you guys right. Okay. Problem is you're a day early. I've got a lot of gold coming my way. Huge haul on some bets. Guaranteed money. Uh, you notice some packed bags inside the doorway. Zane speaks up. Oh, that's nothing. It's just my plan B. No big deal. Don't need that anymore. I'm rolling in cash. Or at least I, I will be tomorrow. Heck, I'd even be willing to toss you some for the delay. Um, not buying it. He pays up now or a little trust goes a long way. We're going to get burnt. Guarantee we're going to get burnt, but well, let's try. You walk into the sleeping line the next day to find Zane waiting for you. He's sporting a set of thick gold rings and ostentatious necklace hangs low around his neck, catching the light. Friends, <laughs> welcome. Drinks on me. Don't you be rolling in it. A small tip for your trust. Real? Wow. Uh, yeah, let's give, yeah, 10 each. I'm taking, not bad. Day. And while nursing a hell of a hangover, you drag yourselves out. True, Sandy was a little light on the payment. But you are one of the most well-known mercenary groups in this backwater dump of a town. Surely it can't hurt to take a charity case every once in a while. Getting good jobs is about maintaining a reputation after all which is why you really need to get to the bottom of this and not return to the widow with nothing but the calluses on your feet fair also you probably shouldn't call her a widow to her face at least not until the fate of the blacksmith has been confirmed yeah that's a, that's Given, a fair point however that none of those who disappeared have returned <laughs> the outlook is grim Ooh. Hi, Ezra. We're speaking to the widow. What? Not long after you pass through one of Gloomhaven's Ooh, many ambush. city gates, you notice movement up ahead and immediately draw your weapon. The sun has dipped low in the sky, reducing visibility, but you can clearly see some ramshackle. I don't know why this is my weapon. Blocking the road in front of you. Second weapon. And sure enough, as you cautiously approach the scene, Vermlings jump out from behind the obstructions, Little. flashing crude swords and sharp sticks. You have to admit, you are quite tired from being up rather late in the inn yesterday. But still, these oversized rats certainly picked the wrong group of travelers to ambush today. This is your job after all, and you're always ready to show there's only one outcome for anyone who dares threaten you. Yep. Getting attacked by vermlings when all you wanted to do was stay in with a warm meal and a soft bed. Well, it makes you mad. Mad enough to kill these mangy creatures before you collapse from exhaustion. Of course, the vermlings have other plans. They gibber about wanting your coin and the meat on your bones. Nasty things, really. Best to ignore their ranting 
and end this quickly. Well, okay, before entering a dungeon, each mercenary must choose one out of two battle goals. Okay. Yeah, secret objective mercenary tries to complete inside the dungeon. Failing it has no drawback, but successfully completing it. And the scenario will earn character the reward shown. Cool. Uh, be targeted by the attacks from three or more monsters in the same. Ugh. Allow none of your allies to become exhausted. We'll we'll give that a whirl. Um Loot no piles of goals or oof. Early in the same round. Oh, but you have to kill it. Okay, if Rearington loots, that could could work. Um, I don't know what the rewards are. Just unclaimed. Oh yeah, because it's a it's an ambush. They're uh they're coming after us, so we we don't exactly know. Um. It's probably just grab stuff on the way or what what we grab here Game Okay, there we are round one. Okay, so Welcome to the game proper if you don't know gloomhaven what we'll do is uh, we're kind of in the initiative trying to figure out um, What each of our characters are gonna do for the round? Um our cards available to us are over to the side and we can switch between uh, Hatchet or the Demolitionist. I, I like how it doesn't just show their name. Uh, that 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 would have been nice, but... Um, say la vie. Luckily, they both have Iron Helmet, which is good. Whichever one we pick first is going to be the number of our initiative going into action. The lower the number, the better off we're going to be. Is that a trap? look like traps but i can't quite tell um so we're down here we need to kill all the enemies in all all rooms so we do have a door here we're gonna have to deal with and a 10 health elite unit this little guy hiding in the corner back here um so hatchets are ranged uh he's three spaces away So what do I have? I have a attack three at a range three, which isn't bad. Um, and it's not a it's not burnt, which is really good. Um, so whatever we use is gonna go to a discard pile. There's certain abilities that will have a burn, meaning we have no chance to come back. Um, it would be nice if we could. Oh, that's a burn move. Oh, you have so much burning. Um, let's do the do the power pitch. Actually, no. Let's let's double throw. I'm gonna just use that for movement. All right. What do you have? You are our melee, so I'm gonna need you to move first. That's not a trap space. So I do want you to move first. One adjacent enemy that is adjacent to walls suffers two. Ooh, that's not bad. Now, does that happen before the mover after? Because I kind of like it. I'm not going to lie. Um, oh, and you go before. So I got to make sure you stay in range. Um... Okay. Let's see what happens here. Okay, they're 30 and 30, so they're gonna go after. They're gonna move and heal. It does, okay. Like that, we could use a healing potion now, but I don't really care to. Oh, my. So, we do also have these modifier decks that we draw from every time we do an attack. Um, I think, yeah, we can take a look here. It goes from a crit fail to a times two. Um, we unfortunately drew a minus two. We only have one of those in the deck. Bad draw for us. We've got several minus ones, several plus ones. Many, the most of them we have are zeros. Uh, plus one, plus two, times two. So that'll end Demolitionist. Hatchet's gonna go next. Attack three at a range of 
four, target two. That would have to burn. So I'm going to prefer to do this. Hopefully we can get a zero. Zero would be great. Knocks them out. Perfect. Well, none of your allies to become exhausted. Okay, that's fine. Let's move you here and end Hatchet's turn. Not not a bad open. We, we, we've got one out. Okay, so now the cards that we use are in our discard. So now would be the time we could do something of a long rest, short rest to get those back. A short rest, burn one discarded card at random to recover all other discarded cards. And we can reroll the random card to burn once at the cost of one health or a long rest. 99 initiative, you burn one discarded card, you get to pick, you recover all other health, you heal two, and that's how you refresh uh, spent item cards. Um, so it's nice. You get to pick which card gets burnt, but yeah, healing, uh, is going to shorten the time that you have, uh, cause it'll start rifling through your deck. Um, this is a big elite who hits hard. How far are you away? You are one, two, you're three spaces. I kind of want you to go first. We're going to do that and we're going to do our power pitch. Six damage, three range, one. Yeah, yeah, I think that'll be good. Um, you can go second, and I'm all right with that. It's going to be attack, three at a range, two. Um, I think if I aim here, that would hit everyone inside of there. It is a burn, though. Uh, this would be attack two, push two. I really, I really, I really don't want them going first. I want that for the six damage if we can help it. Uh, destroy one and chase an obstacle. Mm, okay, I do want to do the big one. And I do kind of want to move. So, and then I got to be careful about not having her land on this gold space. Because uh, they, they're indignant. Loot no gold piles or chests during this. We're going to leave that for Hatchet to do. Um, oh, see, wind up's not bad. Okay, um, that's fine. 70 and 70, move attack with a disarm. Not so bad. Oh man, if we could get our times two, that'd be great. No, zero's not bad though. Zero's really not bad. Um, Hatch is going to go here to grab the gold. There we go. Now you. Firm target hopefully knocks out the elite. <sighs> nope. We did get our times two over here, which was nice. So we did knock one out and brought this down. That's that's not a bad turn. I'll I'll take it. Yeah, burnt burnt a card in the process. Uh so now Hatchet has eight damage. We can take the three. We can burn a card to avoid the damage. We could just take the three. I think we're gonna just take the three. We're we're not in trouble. Um we're oh, we're disarmed. I gotta remember, they can't perform any attack abilities. Okay, that's a bummer. I am gonna want her to go first. Hatchet, your job is just gonna be to move, buddy. I'm gonna need you to... Nice, God, you don't have a ton of movement. Ugh. Um, With a jump, it'd be nice if you could get there. Um, oh, that, uh, it's attack one, range three, target three, and a model. Uh, attack two, if the target has your favorite, return it to its active ability. Oh, oh, interesting. Do I give someone my favorite? I don't know how that works.
Um, sure. I'm just gonna do that because we're, we're we're not gonna be able to do the attack action this turn. You, I want all heals targeting the attack target have no effect. Ooh, that's not bad. Three damage. All right, Demolitionist is going to go first. Boom, knock the Elite out. Perfect. You done. Uh, man. It'd be nice if I could... Yeah, it's, it's just two gold each. And yeah, I really, I really don't need to burn that. So that's okay. Um, let's skip the rest of this movement. Let's do, let's heal. Uh, and then this, we can just skip the attack because we're disarmed. Except the gold. Very nice. We're going to move. No attack. I like this. Attack two, range of four. And it's not a burn either. Okay. So I can move. Oh, dang, that's not far enough. Mm, okay, let's do follow through you. I want to... Attack two, attack... Ooh, attack two, attack one's not bad. All right. A 77. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and move. Uh, how far is that away? Uh, one, two. Is that block line of sight? You know, let's find out. Okay, cool. I do hit. Not bad. Not bad at all. And in Hatchet's turn, picks up the gold. I like it. Back to, um. Okay, yeah, let's confirm the move to there and then one, two punch. Skip the rest of the movement, a one, two punch. Oh, that's gonna hurt. I could skip the attack. Full health, so I'm not worried about that. Round five. This. Good news is. Ah, uh, see, I'm going to have to do a rest for you. And that's okay. You are just going to go ahead and move. And we'll skip the attack. Long rest. I now need to burn one of these. Plus two attacks, not bad. Plus two attack is not. That's a really good setup too. Um, like I like that one-two push. Um, I'm gonna get rid of piston punch. All right, round six. You need to take a long rest. I mean, I could do... Well, yeah, that's fine. You, I want to move... Huh? What's your longest move? Four. And wind up. Cool. I want you to hit harder. Okay. This is probably gonna hurt. Is there any other door in here I need to worry about? No. Just a little bit of piles of gold. I don't think I see any chest in here. But we've got one, two, three, four. Okay. Um, yeah, it's 
not bad. Multiple targets is going to be very good for us right now. You may add plus three attack to a single target of any of your range attacks by marking it with your favorite. When that target dies, I will drop your favorite. If you loot that hex, return your favorite to this active. Ab Ooh, okay. I'm learning. Okay, his turn's done. I'm alright with that. Um Okay, I definitely want you to move and then attack. If I can get something at a little bit of a higher range, that would be good. Move three, push two, not bad. Attack two range four. I don't need multi I don't know if it's at a range three and I move. Maybe you might I might be able to do that. Yeah, yeah, let's do double throw. Alright. You on the other hand, you got wind up. Ready to go. Be nice if you can come in and do something good. Uh it'd be attack two range four. Probably enough to knock that little bugger out. Once you have, you have a move three. You open a door during the movement, perform stun, target all. Ooh. Okay, we're learning. We're learning. We're learning a lot. Um, it'd be nice to get her over to the back line and do some damage there. So, let us knock out support, maybe, once. All right, you have implode. I think we're gonna do the attack two at a range four and then implode. Yeah. Not my favorite thing in the world, but I think we can make it work. And they're all they're all late. Alright, that's fine. You I want you to move three. Let's put you there. Attack two at a range four. I like it. Uh, oh, minus two. Really? Really? Well, that's, that's rough. Okay. Now, you, I was going to move... Uh, I can skip that ability. Cool. Firm two targets. Of course, one damage. Yeah, at least we took one of them out. Uh, I don't really want to burn a card. Yeah, we're going to take the damage. I can heal. So now I need to... Do some damage. Uh, follow through wouldn't be too bad. Yeah, that should work for you. This I need to do. I need to move. Do we have anything else with range? Huh. Move two, attack three. Three, you going late might be better if they move. I don't like it, but it's something. Okay, okay. I think I think I can play with that. So you, I want to attack. T if I do this. Move two, they suffer one damage. Move one, suffer two damage. Okay. Confirm. do that it's that one two oh yeah i think that's 
Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Down to three. Not bad at all. I like this. Hatchet, your turn's over. Grab some more money. Very nicely done. First, you are going to use a healing potion. Mm, this didn't work. Um, what are you guys going to do? Move to... Uh, okay, so I'm going to want to keep you further away from him. You're you're going to get bit by him. Whether I want you to or not. I'll take that. Ooh, uh, w <sighs> suffers one damage to start of there. Ick. Ick. Wound target one adjacent enemy. That has jump, so we should be able to. We can do that. Uh, you, I'm gonna take a short rest. Uh, yeah, it's fine. I just need to move two spaces. Two spaces and a one-two punch. Oh, or if I do that move two, you are adjacent. Is an obstacle considered a wall? Mm, let's find out. Okay, you're late. You're late hit. That's cool. Uh, I want... Wait, did I not do the right... I thought I did something with a jump. Did I not do that with a jump? I guess not. Uh, I'll eat the one damage. I'd prefer not to, but... You are not considered adjacent to a wall. Good. Good to know. Confirm target. We couldn't, we couldn't get a plus one. End your turn. Hey, no damage. We're gonna have to, yeah, you run, no damage. That's fine. We'll take the one. Um, I'm just gonna have to do that. This is a little. A little rough. Okay. So hatchet, we are going to skip the ability. Move here. Hope we get lucky. Nicely done. Nicely done. Uh I'll take the one damage. What are they going to do? Move. Oh, that's fine. Oh, I say that now. Destroy one adjacent. Oh, oh, we would need that in the way. All right, that's fine. Um, yeah, she's going to have to heal. Let a short rest. I don't like it, but sure. I'll live with that. You can move three, and then do I have anything that hits more than once? No. 
I wish. You're full health. Eh, almost full health. That's... Hmm. So it'd be nice to get close and then attack. Try to knock them out. Let's do that. You are just going to have to take a long rest. Sweet. Hatchet's turn. How you doing? Eh, you got a lot of minus ones. All right, not bad. Not bad. Hopefully you'll go after him. Perfect. I will eat the three. Or actually, we could just burn the two discarded, but I think we'll just take the damage. Uh, let us receive the one. Let us heal and perform long rest. Collect an ability card to burn. Sure. Okay, you. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Let me attack two at a range four. You are adjacent to a wall. I don't think I get to it though. Let's do this. Confirm target. That is good and primed. I like that. I like that. Ooh. Uh, let's burn one available. Burn the wind up. Avoid the damage. And you throw down a trap. A little stinker. Still enough to kill. Perfect. So we're going to move one and loot one. Oh, plus six gold. Don't mind if we do. In Hatchet's turn. No one was exhausted. We didn't pick up anything on the other, so we get the perk points. You wipe the blood of the last Vermling from your face, and your thoughts return to the sleeping lion. Surely they've got a stew ready by now. It would be so perfectly warm and soothing, and it's right through that gate. So mm. close, you can already taste it. But... But then, another thought comes. But then... Yeah. It is highly unusual, brazen really, for a pack of vermlings to operate this close to the city. Could they be behind the string of disappearances? Hmm. It's a long shot, but one worth investigating, especially considering this ambush site doesn't look like the base of their operations. There is probably a nest nearby that with any luck will have more information on the missing blacksmith and treasure treasure would be nice of course okay okay we're back in town yep quest completed for xp that's a that's a pretty good round we'll take it uh new per oh, yes yeah. so how do we do hatchet killed six did 30 30 damage Demolitionist, yeah, took 10 damage, healed five, picked up seven gold piles. Oh my god, hatchet. I mean, granted, uh, Demolitionist couldn't pick up anything, uh, so that was, uh, we both healed for one item. That's, that's not bad. Hey, that is, uh, that's our first victory. Thank you, uh, uh, so yeah, that's, uh, that's gonna be it for our playthrough of, uh, Gloomhaven, uh, at least for today. We're thinking about doing another episode, and I might do one right after this so we can continue our journey. This might become its own separate sideshow, uh, but uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how we're feeling. We're, we're, we're going to leave this in uh, Board Game Plus for right now. But hey, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more board game content, even in the digital variety. I've been your host, Tom Fowl. Thank you so much for watching.